Hello everyone. Today we're gonna to talk about machining techniques for material movement. Whether it's materials that are notoriously want to move a lot during machining or specific shapes like long and slender shapes. So I have an example here for you. Uh, shape like this, long and slender that we're machining, tend to, when you machine them, if there's any internal stresses in the material, the shape wants to move after that rough cut and then when you get to subsequent machining, second pass, third pass machining, now your speeds are gonna be extremely slow on one side and very fast on the other. Maybe you get a section where it doesn't clean up after the rough cut. So what can you do to help resolve those issues? Number one, Makino has technology on our control uh, for some materials specifically and some thicknesses as well. Um, what that is, what we call a plus one machining. So for certain materials, let's say for example, copper that we know is uh, notorious for moving around due to all those internal stresses. Uh, what you do when you select the technology, you look for what we call a plus one machining and you select that. What that's going to do is that's going to run the rough cut. We know the material is gonna move after the rough cut and then it adds the second cut two times. So rough cut, second cut, second cut, then third, fourth, and subsequent machining. So what that allows is basically an extra, an extra cut so that you can relieve more of that material from the movement before continuing on to finishing. That's one way is a plus one machining. Uh, another way is, if possible, depending on the material, depending on the shapes you're trying to cut, cutting from the outside and machining all the way through, that will cause is movement. Uh, if you have a lot of that movement and a plus one isn't uh, available, or you're trying to machine faster, what you can do is leave extra material out on the end and tag the material on both sides. So basically what we do is have a start hole here and a start hole here. So start hole, machine this side, leave a tag on the tip, start hole, then machine the opposite side uh, repeat the same thing all the way through. Then after you've machined the whole shape at the very end, you cut, cut this end off and now the shape is correct at the very end. So depending on the material and depending on how much it moves, those are two options to help you deal with material movement.